Hello, welcome to your 35 minute balance and flow vinyasa class. Thanks for joining me on the mat today. We're going to get started straight away by standing at the top of the mat in mountain pose, feet rooted down and palms face forward. Go ahead and roll the shoulders up towards the ears and down the back a few times. Roll out the head and neck. And then find stillness as you grow tall through the crown of your head, gazing forward. We'll take three cleansing breaths. Inhale deeply through the nose. And then audibly exhale the breath out through the mouth. Again, inhale, big breath in. And exhale, release. Take one more here on your own. Fill the lungs completely as you inhale. Hold the breath at the top. And then exhale, fully release the breath out. We'll move through two variations of Sun A to warm up the body. So as you inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back to plank. Engage the core. Drop the knees down, lower all the way to the belly, hands under the shoulders. Open the heart, inhale for baby cobra. Exhale, release, tuck the toes, lift the kneecaps, inhale, push into the palms, come back into plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ground down through the hands and feet, hips lifted up high. Head and neck relax as you find your breath. Gaze at the top of the mat, step forward as you inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, sweep the arms up. Exhale, ride the breath down, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back, plank. Option to drop the knees here as we did before, lowering to the belly, or you can find chaturanga. Lowering halfway. Inhale for your back bend, either cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take three intentional breaths here. Three-legged dog, ground down through the left foot, lift the right leg up. Find circles with the foot, rolling out the ankle. And then step the right foot forward between the hands, come into a high lunge, halfway fold with airplane arms. So reach the arms back. Belly stays connected to the right thigh, gaze down. Find that connection to your core, inner thighs squeeze in towards each other. Palms face down. Good, inhale, reach the arms up and then step forward, lifting the left knee to stand on the right leg. Arms extend up overhead, find your balance. Take one more breath. And then come into Eagle Pose. Cross the left leg over your right. Bend the knees and send the hips down. Bring your right arm underneath and around the left. Press the right fingertips into the left palm. If this isn't available to you, simply press the front of the hands together. Hold here, maintaining your balance and lengthening through the spine. Keep the arms as they are, straighten the legs to stand, lift the knee once more. Prepare to come into warrior three with eagle arms. So begin to lean your weight forward, extend the left leg back, bringing your body into a T-shape. Strong through the standing leg. Take one more breath. 
Come into high lunge, bend into the front knee and step your left foot back. Shoulders stacked over hips, release the arms, reaching them down and back behind you and then up overhead, palms touch. Sink the hips down. High lunge twist, plant your left hand down, gaze up at the right fingertips, keep the hips lifted up high. Take three breaths. Skandasana side lunge, plant your right hand down, turn to face the long ways of your mat, bend into your left knee, straighten the right leg, Keep your hands on the mat for support or bring your hands to heart center, getting that stretch in the inner thighs. Take a couple of breaths here. Turn to face the back of your mat, come into pyramid pose. Slide the left foot back, square off the hips, and then fold over your left leg, maybe keeping a micro bend in the knee. Breathe into the backside body and let your head and neck relax. Take one more breath. Come into revolved half moon, walk your hands forward, keep your right hand down, maybe using the fingertips or a block for support, and then slowly lift your right leg up. Place your left hand on your thigh to start off with, maybe you stay here working on your balance, or maybe you lift the left arm up towards the sky, opening your chest to the left. Good, breathe here. Transitioning into Kundalini's descent, plant the left hand down, bend your standing leg, then bend your right knee and place it behind your left knee. Find your balance. And then see if you can bring your hands to heart center, lifting the chest and gaze. Good, step the right foot back, coming into warrior two. Readjust your stance so the back foot is parallel to the back of the mat. Bend into your front knee and extend the arms, gaze forward. Reverse warrior, flip the left palm and bring your right hand to your back leg. Option to lift your front heel off of the mat coming high on the toes. Breathe. Plant your front heel down, cartwheel the hands down, step the left foot back into plank. Take a vinyasa here if you'd like, otherwise go straight into downward dog. All of the vinyasas today will be optional, so take them if you want to. Come back to your breath in downward dog. Good, three-legged dog, ground down through the right foot and lift the left leg up. Find circles with the foot, rolling out the ankle. And then step the left foot forward between the hands, coming into high lunge, halfway fold with the arms extended behind you. Keep the connection of your belly to your left thigh and then gaze down. On your next inhale, reach the arms up and then step forward, lifting the right knee to stand on the left leg. Arms reach up overhead. Find your balance and lengthen through your spine. Eagle pose, cross your right leg over the left, bend the knees and send the hips down. Left arm comes underneath and around the right. If this isn't available to you, again, you can just press the front of the hands together. Hold here, maintaining your balance.
Slowly begin to straighten to stand. Keep the arms as they are. Uncross the right leg, lift the knee once more. Prepare to come into warrior three with eagle arms, sending the right leg back as you lean your weight forward, coming into that T-shaped position. Strong and steady, one more breath. Coming into high lunge, bend into the front knee, and then step your right foot back. Shoulders stacked over the hips, release the arms, reaching them down and back behind you, and then up overhead. Palms touch. Press the hips down. High lunge twist, plant your right hand down, gaze up at the left fingertips. Keep the hips lifted up high. Taking three deep breaths here. Coming into Skandasana side lunge, plant your left hand down, turn to face the long ways of your mat, bend into your right knee, straighten the left leg, keep your hands on the mat for support or bring your hands to heart center. Feeling the stretch in the inner thighs. Good. Plant your hands, turn to face the front of your mat, come into pyramid pose. Slide the right foot back, hips are squared, and then fold over the right leg. Relax the crown of your head towards the mat, soften the shoulders. Taking one more breath here. Transitioning into revolved half moon, walk your hands forward. Keep your left hand down, either on your fingertips or maybe a block, and then slowly lift the right leg up. Place your right hand on your thigh, stay here, or reach the right arm up towards the sky. One more full round of breath. Good, Kundalini's descent, plant the right hand down, bend your standing leg, then bend your left knee and place it behind your right knee. Bringing your hands to heart center, lifting the chest. Step the left foot back, warrior two. Finding your stance, hips and chest face the left side. Gaze over your front middle finger. Reverse warrior, flipping your front palm, bringing your left hand to your back leg. Option to lift your front heel off of the mat. Breathe into the side body. Cartwheel the hands down. Step the right foot back into plank. Take a vinyasa here if you'd like, otherwise meeting in downward facing dog. From down dog, lower the knees and come into balasana, child's pose. Hips come back towards the heels and arms reach forward. Close your eyes and feel the breath entering and leaving your body. Notice how you're feeling. Tune into any sensations.
With your next inhale, gently lift yourself back up, pressing into your palms, coming onto the knees, and then lifting the hips, straightening out the legs for a downward dog. We'll move through this same sequence once more on each side, picking up the pace, and we'll bring in some new options for you to try. Coming into three-legged dog, ground down through the left heel, right leg lifts. Step the right foot forward, high lunge with the fold, reach the arms back, palms face down. Inhale, reach the arms up. Step forward, lift the left knee to stand on the right leg, arms reach up. Engage your core as you find your balance. Eagle pose, cross your left leg over the right, bend the knees. Right arm comes under the left arm. Now you can hold here or option to tap the bottom elbow at the top knee. Challenge yourself, breathe. Inhale, lift all the way up, keep the arms as they are, uncross the left leg and lift the knee once more. Warrior three with eagle arms, lean your weight forward, extend the left leg behind you. High lunge, step your left foot back, release the arms, reaching them back and then up overhead, palms touch. Soften into your front knee and then press the hips down, getting that stretch in your left hip flexor. Good, high lunge twist, left hand comes down, right arm comes up, hips stay lifted. Plant your right hand down, skandasana, side lunge, turn to face the long ways of your mat, bend into your left knee and straighten the right leg. Now option here to spin on the right heel with your toes pointed up towards the sky. You can always keep your right foot flat on the mat. This is just a variation. Take one more breath. Turn to face the back of your mat. Pyramid pose. Plant the hands down and slide the left foot back. Fold over the left leg. Soften your shoulders. Maybe walk your hands back towards your right foot and breathe. Revolved half moon, walk your hands forward, keep your right hand down, lift your right leg up. Left hand comes on the thigh, stay here or start to slowly open your chest to the left. Finding a twist, lifting your left arm up towards the sky. Stay here, or you can bend your right knee and reach your left hand for the top of your foot. Maintain your balance, find your strength. Slowly release your foot. If you took that variation, plant the left hand down, kundalini's descent. Bend the right knee behind the left. Bring your hands to heart center, lift the gaze. Step the right foot back, warrior two, readjust your stance, and gaze forward. Reverse warrior, option to find a bind by bringing the right arm behind your low back. You can also lift your front heel, come up high on the toes, breathe into the side body. Cartwheel the hands down, step the left foot back, plank. Optional vinyasa. Meeting in downward facing dog. Take a couple deep breaths. We'll move through our last sequence here. So make sure to give it your all. Three-legged dog, left leg lifts. Step the left foot forward, high lunge with the fold. Reach the arms back behind you, palms face down. Inhale, reach the arms up, step forward. Lift the right knee to stand on the left leg. Arms extend up towards the sky. 
Eagle pose, cross your right leg over the left, bend the knees, bring your left arm underneath and around the right. Now you can hold here or again, option to tap the bottom elbow to the top knee. Rounding forward, core engaged. Good, inhale, lift all the way up, keep the eagle arms, uncross the right leg and lift the knee. Warrior three with eagle arms, leaning forward and extending the right leg behind you. High lunge, step the right foot back, release the arms, reaching them back behind you and then up overhead. Connecting the palms together, sinking into your high lunge. Twist, right hand will come down, reach the left arm up. Plant the left hand down, side lunge. Turn to face the long ways of your mat. Bend into the right knee and straighten the left leg. Stay here with the left foot flat on the mat or option to spin on the left heel with the toes pointed up towards the sky. Hands down on the ground or at heart center. Turn to face the front of your mat. If you want to challenge yourself, try not to use your hands and then plant your hands pyramid pose. Slide the right foot back and then fold over the right leg. Take one more breath. Revolved half moon, walk your hands forward Keep your left hand down, lift your left leg up. Place your right hand on your thigh, stay here, or begin to open your chest to the right. And then again, stay here, or you can bend your left knee. Reach your right hand for the top of your foot. Steady and strong. Control the breath. If you have a hold on your foot, slowly release it. Right hand comes down, kundalini's descent. Bend the left knee behind the right, bringing your hands to heart center. Step the left foot back, warrior two. Arms extended long, weight even between the legs. Beautiful, reverse warrior, option to find a bind by bringing the left arm behind your low back. You can also lift your front heel, coming high on the toes. Breathe into the right side body, chest expands. Cartwheel the hands down, option to take one last vinyasa. Meeting in downward facing dog, take two to three deep breaths here. Feeling the belly and the ribs expand. Gaze at the top of the mat, walking forward. Bend the knees, hips come down towards the heels, come all the way down into a seat and then lower onto your spine. Hug the knees into your chest, Wrapping your arms around your shins, gently rock from side to side. You can close your eyes here, preparing to come into our cool down. Plant your left foot on the ground, cross your right ankle on top of the left knee for supine pigeon. Keep the right foot flexed and actively press the right knee away from your body. Now stay here or you can lift your left foot up off of the mat. Thread the right arm in between the legs, interlace your hands around the back of your left thigh or your shin, getting a stretch in your hip. Relaxing your shoulder blades down into the ground and simply coming back to your breath.
Now keep the legs as they are. Just lower your left foot back down to the mat and then drop the left knee towards the left side, coming into a twist, keeping the right ankle on top of the left thigh, gazing over to the right and extending the right arm out wide. And gently bring your head back towards center, lifting the left leg back up, uncrossing the leg, and then we'll switch sides, right foot flat on the mat, crossing the left ankle on top of the right thigh, keeping the left foot flexed and actively pressing the left knee away from your body. Option to stay here, or again, you can lift the right foot up off of the mat, interlacing your fingers, hugging your legs closer in towards your body, relaxing the shoulders down towards the ground, letting go of any tension in your face, your upper body, and feeling the stretch in your hip. Release your right foot back down, keeping the left leg crossed over the right. Just gently drop your right knee over to the right side, coming into a twist. Extend the left arm out wide and then bring your gaze over the left shoulder, closing the eyes. And slowly begin to bring your head back towards center. Plant the right foot flat on the mat. Uncross the left leg. Coming into happy baby, getting one last hip opening stretch. Bring the arms inside of the legs, wrap the fingertips around the outer blades of the feet, drawing the knees closer towards the outer ribs. Breathing here. When you're ready, take your time. Slowly release your feet back down to the mat, preparing for our final resting pose, extending your legs out wide. And let your arms rest alongside your body with the palms face up. Close your eyes. We'll find a few deep cleansing breaths to fully settle into the body. Exhale where you are. Take a big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale the breath out. Again, take a big breath in and a loud, audible exhale out. Take one more here on your own, filling the lungs completely, hold the breath at the top, and then exhale, release, let it all go. If 
feeling your entire body relaxed giving yourself this time to surrender and fully let go enjoy these next few minutes here in Shavasana and I'll call you back when it's time Begin to slowly bring your awareness back to this space, feeling your physical body resting against the floor. Start to find small movements, wiggling the fingers and the toes, maybe gently rocking the head from side to side. And then begin to roll the wrists and the ankles. Finding any other movement that feels good to you, reaching the arms up overhead, pointing and flexing the feet, lengthening through the spine, maybe opening the mouth. And when you're ready, you can bend your knees, roll over onto one side of the body, and then gently press yourself up to come into a seated position. Crossing the legs, keeping the eyes closed or gaze soft. And just take a moment to notice how you feel. Take a moment to thank yourself for showing up on your mat today. And together we'll bring our hands together at heart center, prayer position. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today for this practice. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste.